हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम दिस इज रियली वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एसक्यूएल प्रॉब्लम एंड एट द फर्स्ट लुक इट विल लुक लाइक इट इज अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम बट ट्रस्ट मी इट इज नॉट ओके सो दिस वाज आस्क्ड इन अ पेपर इंटरव्यू राइट समवन हैड सेंट मी पवन दैट कैन यू सॉल्व दिस ओके यू कैन रीड थ्रू फुल ईमेल बट हियर इज द प्रॉब्लम डिस्क्रिप्शन सो द प्रॉब्लम सेज we need to obtain a list of departments with an average salary lower than the overall average salary of the company okay so this is a simple thing if you look at it right we have to find list of departments whose average salary is lower than overall average salary of the company but here is the trick however when calculating the company's average salary you must exclude the salaries of the department you are coming it with so for example when you are comparing average salary of hr department with company's average the hr department salary shouldn't be taken into consideration okay so let me explain this into excel what is the question and then we will move on to the sql server to solve the problem okay so let me move it to excel so let's say this is my this is my table right if you want to read the question again you can just go back and pause and read it full but i will explain what is the question So let's say this is your company, and your company has ten employees, right? Now you have you have total three departments: department ID hundred, two hundred, and three hundred. Let let me color them. Okay, so this is hundred, and this is two hundred, and last one is three hundred. Okay, let me color it something else. Okay, so these are now three departments. So what essentially we have to find? We have to find those departments whose average salary is less than average salary of whole company right that's what it is saying average salary department with an average salary lower than overall average salary of the company so let's find the average salary of each department so for example let me put department id right so the department id and then average salary right so for example for department id 100 right we have 100 200 300 right What is the average salary? So these four, if you look at top, average salary is ten thousand, right? So it is ten thousand, right? For department ID two hundred, what is the average salary? It is ninety five hundred. So I will just put ninety five hundred. Okay. And for three hundred, it is sixty five hundred. So this is the average salary of three department. Now we have to find those departments whose average salary is less than average salary of whole company. right so ideally what i would have done i would have just taken this right 9100 and checked it right that who sell is less than average salary so this guy would have come it is fine but what we have to do is when we are calculating company's average salary we don't have to consider all the employees right so when i'm comparing with department id 100 i don't have to take these employees into account i need to check only these salaries take the average and compare and then if it is less then i will say ha huh, the average salary of 100 is the department id 100 is less than the company's average salary right so let's do in this case what will happen so this is company average salary right this what what we want to do let's do it so so for this one for department id 100 i will skip these four records and see what is the average salary so average salary comes out to be in the bottom if you see 8500 so 8500 right right is is the average salary less than company average salary no so this guy will not qualify in this case okay let's take let's take the last example so we have 300 so i will skip these two records right and take the average salary here okay so here it is it says 9750 Right, average salary is nine seven five zero, nine seven five zero. Right, so is it less than company's average? Yes, it is. It is less. The average salary is ninety five hundred, and company salary is nine seven five zero. Sorry, not this one. This one, my bad. I'm looking at the three hundred. Right, so I skip the three hundred, and I'm just checking how much it is nine seven five zero. So it is less than nine seven five zero, which is perfect. So this guy will qualify. Let's look at for the two hundred. So these four guys, this guy and this guy. So the average salary is double eight, double three around, right? Double eight, double three, right? Is this less? No. So this guy will not qualify, right? In in our example, for both the result is coming same, but but it will not come every time, right? When I take whole company's 
average also this guy this person is qualifying and in this case also this is qualifying this is just you know coincidence otherwise results can be different but how to solve this because every time this average is dynamic right when i'm doing 100 i'm not considering employees of 100 right i have to consider only employees of these two when i'm considering 200 i have to consider employees of these two when i'm considering this i have to consider employees of these two department right so this, this we have to take check dynamically right now we have to write sql so that we can do it okay so let's move on to the sql server and see how we can solve it okay so this is my sql server my bad okay and i have this table employee table right i i'll put the ddl in the description box if you want to try yourself you can try yourself but i will go ahead and solve uh, myself first and later you can come back and check my solution but give it a try okay so this is my table so what i have to do first of all i will get the first thing the first thing i i wanted is the department wise average salary right so let's get it so i will say department id comma average of salary as department average from employee group by department id right so this is the first thing i will do okay let's see if it is matching with our result so it is saying uh, 10,9500,6500 so it is 10,9500,6500 so it is matching exactly fine so this is exactly fine now what i should do now right so essentially if you see we have to do some kind of self join right because i need to check that what is the average salary of this guy and with the rest of the guys which are not in this department so somewhere i have to do self join right there is no other way so what I will do is, I will take two more things here. I will take department wise count of employees. So I will say count star. I will tell you why I am doing it. As number of employees. Okay. I will also take sum of salary. Department wise it will come. As department salary. Right. Department salary. It is total. Total department salary. Okay. So let's run this again once. Okay. So I'm getting that this is the department average salary, right? This is the number of employees in each department. And this is the sum, sum of all the employees salary, right? So 9,500 into four will be 38,000, right? So this is the total. Now what I will do, I'll just treat it as a CT with CTS, right? And what I will do, select star select from ct i will call it as e1 or ct1 anything e1 let's say this is e1 inner join e2 now i am joining this table with itself but when i am joining i am saying on e1 dot department id not equal to e2 dot department id right e2 dot department id what i am saying when this join happens so this record should join with this and this record right this is how cell join works right isn't it isn't it so it's giving me error in a join e2 oh my word ct okay okay so what i am doing is i am saying join this table with itself but while joining don't join with 100 that's what we want right that's what we want when i'm checking the average salary of department id 100 i just want to take average of this and this guy's salaries right so i will say 100 join with 200 and 300 200 join with 100 and 300 300 join with 200 and 100 so i'm saying the even dot department id not equal to e2 dot department id i will run this and show you what is happening okay so i will take even dot department id right this is our even table comma i will also take even dot department average okay so this is my even dot department average comma i will also take i will also take e2 dot department id right i will also take e2 dot number of employees i will also take e2 dot total department salary okay these are the things i need let me run it and show you what is happening behind the scenes. Okay, 
So if you look at it, look at it. Let me sort it by department ID. Orders by e one dot department ID. Okay, it will make sense. Okay, uh, just just have two more minutes. It will be absolutely clear. Okay, so if you see when department ID hundred, it is ge getting joined with department ID two hundred and three hundred. Now for this two hundred and three hundred, I have the total salaries and number of employees. So I can sum these two salaries, divide by number of employees, and I will get the company's average excluding department ID hundred. Right? Again, the two hundred, the two hundred is getting joined with hundred and three hundred. Right? Again, I can sum these two salary. Take number of employees and divide and get the average of company, right? Similarly for this one. So what I have to do for this one? I will say group by group by e1 dot department ID, right? Comma department average also because this average I don't have to aggregate or anything. So this average is constant for hundred. Average is ten thousand. So I will take this department average also in group by, right? Right, and now I will say, give me sum of employees, okay, number of EMP, right, and then sum of this as total salary, right, and 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 that's it, right. I don't need this. I don't need this, right. One department ID is enough. So I have to sum it on. These two columns, I am summing it, right? And I mean, I am grouping on these two columns and summing these two columns, right? So let me run this now. You can watch this video again if you have a confusion. But essentially, if you see, for hundred, this is a department average, right? For hundred, and this is the for rest of the department for two hundred and three hundred total number of employees six and total salary is fifty one thousand. So I will just divide these two numbers to get the average. So I will say, and then we can match it with our Excel. Divided by as company average salary. Let's run this. Okay, so if you see, it is coming eighty five hundred company average salary for department ID hundred. Let's look at the Excel. The company's average salary is coming is eighty five hundred, exactly the same. Again, this is double eight double three, double eight double three. It is nine seven five zero, nine seven five zero, right? So exactly we got it what we needed. Okay, if you have not understood this, again watch the video, try it yourself. I have explained it very cleanly, but if you solve yourself, it will be clear. Now last thing, what we have to do, we have to say where. So we have to find those department where department average is less than company average. So I have to put just this condition. So I can maybe say this: select staff from this order by is not required now. I will just remove it. I have to give alias to a sub query in SQL Server where department average is less than company average salary. Right? That's it. That's it. See, we got only department ID three hundred because its average salary sixty to five hundred is less than the company average salary, excluding excluding the employees of department ID three hundred. Okay, I hope this is clear. If you really like this video, please do like and share with your friends. It will really help me to reach my channel channel reach. Okay, and please like the video, try it yourself. I will put in the description box everything that you need. Thanks for watching the video till end have a great day bye bye